Last winter, the FBI was praised for its speed in cracking the case of the World Trade Center bombing and bringing four suspects to trial. Now, there is some evidence that the FBI may have known of the plot in advance through an informant and might, might even have stopped the bombing that killed six people. Correspondent Jacqueline Adams has the story. FBI agents might have been able to prevent last February's deadly explosion at New York's World Trade Center. They discussed secretly substituting harmless powder for the explosives, but they didn't, according to the FBI's own informant, Imad Salem. Unbeknownst to the FBI at the time, Salem recorded many of his conversations with his handlers. I'm holding 903 pages of draft transcripts. William Kunzler represents Sheikh Omar Abdel Rahman and several others charged with conspiring to blow up a series of New York City landmarks four months after the World Trade Center bombing. That case has not yet gone to trial. Kunzler confirmed newspaper reports of the Salem transcripts. In one, Salem complains to an FBI agent, since the bomb went off, I feel terrible, I feel bad, I feel here is people who don't listen. The agent replies, Hey, I mean, it wasn't like you didn't try and I didn't try. You can't force people to do the right thing. There is material in here to show gross governmental misconduct. Today, attorneys for the defendants in the ongoing World Trade Center bombing case formally asked for the transcripts of Salem's tapes. Quite frankly, beyond me, why uh, now the fourth week into the trial, uh, we still don't have these materials. Prosecutors have refused to comment publicly, but legal experts say the defense may have no right to those transcripts. It's not a defense to a crime to say, if only the government had stopped me, I wouldn't have done it. So this isn't material that ordinarily the defense would be entitled to. In court today, a witness from the Ford Motor Company linked debris recovered from the explosion site to a Ford van where defendant Mohammed Salama was arrested less than a week after the bombing. Jacqueline Adams, CBS News, New York.